Zelja. Thank you, uh, Acting Deputy President. And, um, I'm really pleased to be able to go after Senator Lyons to respond to the absurd arguments that were put uh, by Senator Lyons and others. And I think it is a, it is a, a telling reflection of the quality of debate at times in this place when we hear an argument put up like we just heard from Senator Lyons. It was absurd. It was ridiculous, and I want to go to some of the most ridiculous parts of it because I think it actually encapsulates uh, what is going on here. When we we have Senator Lyons saying there's no one supporting this reform, and and in in response, her evidence is to trot out the views of the National Union of Students. The NUS is against it, therefore it must be a bad idea. Well. Let, let's go through some of the supporters of this reform, who I think have a fair degree more credibility than the National Union of Students, who the Labor Party appear to be basing uh, their opposition on. Let's, so we've got, on one hand, the National Union of Students uh, on, the, on the no side. Then we've got, on the yes side, Universities Australia, the Inverse, Innovative Research Universities, Regional Universities Network, the Australian Technology Network, the Group of Eight, the TAFE Directors Association, the Council of Private Higher Ed, various university leaders, 40 out of 41 vice chancellors. 40 out of 41 vice chancellors. Now you say the students, the National Union of Students, the far left union organisation, does not represent my students, Senator Cameron. I don't know when you last went to university. I don't know when you last went there. But when I was at the ANU, even with a left-wing student union, they refused for years to join the NUS because it was so far left. It was so far left. Uh, so, so you can rely on the National Union of Students, but we will listen to expert after expert after expert who is saying yes. Senator Rhiannon, who takes her advice from the National Union of Students uh, and the Green Left Weekly. Uh, is, is shouting across the chamber saying, well, there are some other voices. Well, I hadn't heard of the Green Left Weekly's views. I suspect the Green Left Weekly is against the reform. <laughs> I, I haven't heard exactly, I don't know, Senator Payne, whether or not you're aware of the Green Left Weekly's views, but, but Senator Milne is speaking next. So we can, we can look forward to hearing from the, the Business Council, Aki. The list goes on and on and on, Mr President. And there is a good reason why you've got the NUS on one side and all of these experts on the other, because all of these experts have considered the issue. And what was even more concerning about the, the contribution of Senator Lyons and the contribution of, uh, of others in this debate was that Senator Lyons was saying there is no problem. There really isn't any problem. Uh, you know, we, we don't have to fix anything because we've got a perfect system and we don't need to reform it. Well, that's absolute rubbish. And Senator Lyons knows that it's rubbish. The Labor Party knows that it's rubbish. 40 out of 41 vice chancellors know that it's rubbish. Every peak body knows that it's rubbish. And, and, and this is the simple reason why it's absolute rubbish. It is because we've seen a deregulation of student numbers. So the numbers are no longer capped. We're going to see a significant growth in student numbers, and that's something we can celebrate. We're going to see more people having access to higher education. Yet the former government, as well as this government, have recognised that there is no blank cheque, that there isn't an unlimited amount of public money that can go in as we see those student numbers rise. So if you acknowledge that there is going to be a rise, unless you're going to take the Kim Carr approach and now look to cap student numbers, but if you acknowledge that there will be a significant rise in people accessing our universities, and if you acknowledge there is a limit to the amount that taxpayers can subsidise those students, then you have to reform. You have to reform. You have to actually ask for a greater private contribution. And that is at the heart of this reform. And if you deny it, as Senator Lyons just did, you are putting your head in the sand. You are pretending that there isn't a problem when blind Freddie could see that there is. 
And I think going further than that, going further than that, of course, the likes of Senator Lyons and the Labor Party are effectively calling all of these people liars. When they talk about the $100,000 degrees, they are calling the university vice chancellors liars. They are saying the whole sector cannot be trusted, even when they put out what their fee structure is going to be, as some universities have. So some universities have already put out their fee structure, which puts a lie to the Labor Party scare campaign, yet those opposite pretend either that they didn't hear it or they pretend that the sector are all simply telling lies. Mr President, this is a serious debate and it deserves better contributions than what we have heard to date. It doesn't deserve contributions, contributions from the likes of Senator Carr, who I'm now just left. wants to cap student numbers. That is the Senator Carr policy. The new Labor Party policy is to put a cap on student numbers. Because if you're not going to put, if you're not going to put a cap on student on numbers, left. Senator Carr, then you're not going to be able to afford it. And what we will see is an ever declining university sector. That is, that is what the modern Labor Party stands for. The modern Labor Party now, with its head in the sand, ignoring all of the experts, ignoring all of the experts, is now saying that what they stand for is a cap on student numbers or a decline in the quality of higher education in this country. Mr President, we happen to take a different view. And that is why, that is why this legislation is important. Senator Cameron, I know the, the NUS, NUS might be very important. They might be very important left. to you. But we believe that 40 out of 41 vice chancellors, that all of the peak bodies that represent higher education, that the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the Business Council of Australia, the Regional Unis Network, all of these groups, all of these groups, we take them more seriously than the National Union of Students. Uh, and we take them more seriously than Senator Lyons, who informed the Chamber today who informed the chamber today? There's nothing to see here. There is no problem. There is no problem to fix in our university sector. We can all we can all just walk away, not worry about it, leave it as it is. She'll be right. Well, Mr. President, we happen to have a very different view. The facts happen to support a very, very different case, uh, and we certainly won't be taking advice as Senator Lyons and the Labor Party do from the National Thank Union you, of Students.